Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to dive into how to implement middleware in Microsoft Extension A SDK. First, let's take a moment to understand what middleware is. Imagine middleware as a chain where your message passes through different layers. Each layer adds something special like locking, caching or other enhancement. Before the message reaches this final destination, those different layers are middlewares. Microsoft Extension AI allows developer to add middleware into the SDK. So, in this video, we will explore how to implement and utilize middleware in the context of AI development. For in this middleware, I will be creating a historical event middleware that will pull historical events based on specific date and months. This middleware will add the prompt along with the user prompt to get the user input information and the middleware prompt to interact to LLM to get the generated answer. Now let's jump to the Visual Studio and begin implement the middleware. In Visual Studio, I have created a new project called middleware. In program.cs file, I connected the Llama client and I used chat client interface and sent our prompt to the LLM and the response I just print. That's it. The first step I'm going to create a class, public class, class name called historical events chat client, and this class should derive from delegating chat client. Delegating chat client is a base class for creating chat clients that forward tasks to another chat client. This class used to us to create our own middleware. And this class is a constructor to pass iChat client. For that, in the direct class constructor, I'm going to pass a client object. So chat client. This object I pass to the base. Delegating chat client give the option to override multiple functions, but we focus to this one complete async function because in our main program we use this complete async function to pass our prompt so once this function get invoked then in the middleware capture this historical event arc and it's reach our complete async function list function here so in the chat message we have to add our historical prompt as well so here i'm going to get current date and month based on that i'm going to create one prompt so to take the date, I use this date time function, date time now to string here I pass date and same for month. Based on this tool, I am going to create the prompt. So where history prompt like today date and month can you provide any notable historical events or a special occurrence associated with this date and month and this prompt we have to pass to the chat message so here chat message dot add we cannot simply pass the prompt we have to create the chat message object so here I am going to create one object called chat prompt message equal to new of chat message the first argument the role role is different as user only because we add our own prompt here the next we have to pass the prompt and this information add to the chat message that's it so here we call our base class function so this is async function we have to convert to our class to async as well so wait and this function i add async here next important step we have to do that once it get processed we have to remove the our prompt in the chat message otherwise every time it's added it's get duplicated so once it's processed we have to remove it from the chat message for that i'm just going to add the try catch in the try block it's add this one 
cache block, I just remove the throw and here I add the finally block. In the finally block, we just remove the chat prompt in the chat messages. Remove and here we pass chat prompt message. That's it. So here just return null. So our middleware class is ready. The next we have to inject this middleware into this chat client. For that we have to use use function use. So use is required the delegates. So just add like this middleware to new of historical event arc. Here we have to pass the i chat client object. So middleware. That's it. So our middleware is ready. I just run this application and see the output. Here I did not specify any city and other information. Just I say only hello. Let's see how LLM generate the historical event based on this date and month. And here we get the historical information. I just say hello, then LLM also responding hello. But the main focus this one. So some historical information small issue with the date you provided the current date is december 24 which is christmas eve not march 24 ah seems to be something wrong we'll check it our llm issue we'll check that that's fine but our focus here is get some information historical weather information there is another way we can add the middleware so instead of using this use i just comment here i'm going to create the extension method so public static class and the class name called historical middleware and here you can notice this class is required for the chat client builder so our extension method return the chat client builder object so public static chat client builder and the function name use historical event event and the first argument uh, this operator should uh, chat client builder and here we use variable called builder and inside this function return builder dot use I just copy the complete this information and I used here that's it so go to our create llama client function and here we use historical event so our middleware added as a like normal function scenario use historical event I added and this time I put the breakpoint in line number 45 and start the middleware. We check the date, month, ah, something wrong. Ah, I put the stop and I change to this one to capital month. Start again and here we'll check 12 date 24. It's matching and here we created the prompt. Today date is 24 and month is 12. Can you provide any notable historical events or special occurrence associated with this date? Added this prompt to the chat message and we continue this one. So here we get some historical information based on our date and month. So this is a simple example how to implement middleware using Microsoft Extension AI SDK.